Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another Jurassic World Dominion video. We're going back and taking another look at this movie as sadly the channel hasn't been doing quite as well in recent times. Taking a look back you guys seem to really enjoy my Dominion videos. So today we're back again and this time discussing one of the major threats from the movie, the Atrociraptors. So if you're at all excited to learn about these new theropod carnivores from this franchise, Please be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and wish to learn all things to do with the Jurassic franchise. 200,000 subscribers is right around the corner now and so is JP30 so it's going to be very close so let's hope that we can hit that milestone before this event comes around in June. But back on topic to the video, the Atrociraptors. What happened to them after the events of Malta? The Atrociraptors of Jurassic World Dominion, also known as the Evil Raptor Squad, were brand new species and threats that entered the Jurassic universe. These creatures only had one major scene throughout the movie, but either way, they were some of the most anticipated new species in Dominion before even released. And boy did they not disappoint. Each Atrociraptor came with their own unique name. We have Ghost, Red, Panthera and Tiger. These four Atrociraptors were an integral part of the future stories yet to be told for Jurassic. We learned that they were trained in a very similar way that the Indoraptor was coded to follow human commands via a laser pointer. This is quite unique and impressive behaviour, as you have to teach this to such an animalistic creature to the point where you can trust them when the lasers are used. Not only that, but their story was also set to take place in Riyadh within the country of Saudi Arabia. So Una Santos was offering a job to ship these ferocious carnivores out from Malta's black market and into the capital of Saudi Arabia. However, as we know, that didn't happen. So clearly, they were supposed to have a far more interesting story for their expected timeline. So to me, it seems like their story isn't over quite yet. So it would be interesting to see them after the events of Jurassic World Dominion, right? The ending of the Atrociraptors was left on an open book. One was trapped inside of their crate in Malta, and Barry was also there after supposedly arresting Siona Santos. One was absolutely clotheslined in a chase for Kayla and Claire, and then the other two were just chasing down Owen determined to kill him. I think it was Panthera who tripped on the runway, and then Ghost was able to get onto the aircraft, not before being smacked in the face by the motorcycle that Owen stole. And soon after that, he plummeted down into the Mediterranean, and that's how their stories were left, as we saw in Jurassic World Dominion. But what happened to them after these events? Well, to my surprise and many others, very early on in Dominion's post-release, the director of the movie confirmed in an article that Ghost the Atrociraptor, who got hit by the motorcycle, actually survived his fall. Now, finding this article has literally been the pain of my life for the recent months, as I've really held off from making this video until I find that quote and found that article. But sadly, I just can't find it anymore and it's really irritating me, so please, if anybody does find that article, please let me know where I can find it in the comments below or tag me on Twitter. But I can assure you that it was confirmed. Ghost survived his fall. However, that must also suggest that Ghost was able to swim from the water onto the mainland and somehow survive that. To me, that doesn't seem quite logical due to the lack of webbing on the feet for these Atrociraptors, and if we also take a look at where Ghost fell, he didn't really fall very close to shore, it was quite deep into the water. However, if it's canon, it's canon, there's nothing I can do about it. Ghost must be alive after the events of Malta from Jurassic World Dominion. But, as for the other three species, what exactly happened to them? Well, the answer is that we really do not know, but most likely we will have to wait and see for the future stories of Jurassic to entail. But, to be honest, that doesn't really stop us from speculating just a little bit about their immediate fate after Dominion. So, if we go one by one, we can start to get an idea of what exactly happened to these creatures immediately after their involvement in Jurassic World Dominion. Let's start with the Atrociraptor Red, shall we? So, Red was the one that was captured by both Owen and Barry in the underground segment of Malta. From what we can speculate about, 
I've also covered this in another video of mine, it seems as if Sayona Santos was able to get away from the clutches of Barry off screen, which means that there must be a story to be told here. This means that there's also a slim chance that whatever Sayona used to point the laser at Owen Grady to send the other Atrociraptors out to attack him, that device could be used to release Red from the container, which would have given her a chance to escape from Barry and possibly even leave Barry for dead, but I don't really think that they'll go down that line. However, if that didn't happen and she did escape some other way, then it is likely that once Siona got away, Barry just chose not to pursue her. We can see that in Malta there was an entire team ready to shut down the illegal underground market operations that were happening. So, if Red didn't escape from this container, it's likely that him and the container were seized by the CIA and French intelligence for whatever reason, probably for safety, just to not keep this dangerous animal out and about. Barry would have stayed with this animal until somebody was able to come by and detain the specimen. Who knows whatever happened after that. But now following the story that was made of the CIA being on the streets of Malta, it's most likely that the other Atrociraptors followed the same fate. Tiger was left almost incapacitated on the streets of Valletta. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure how he even survived being clotheslined like that. I get that these dinosaurs were described as thoroughbreds, but holy shit, how thorough are they? Anyways, we can see that he was left aligned, but borderline knocked out as he left himself to rest on the street. It's clear to see that leaving a dangerous animal like that on the streets of a populated capital city will not go down very well. I assume that eventually Tiger did get back up and might have chased down a few other people. It would be safe to assume and expect a few casualties before the CIA stepped in again and captured this dinosaur, similar to how Red was captured, but probably in a more professional manner involving tranquilizer darts. Either way, I'm certain that this dinosaur would have been captured after a few casualties from the public. Next up, we have the Atrociraptors of both Panthera and Ghost. We'll begin with Panthera, who was last seen tumbling over the makeshift runway for aircrafts. He probably would have had the best immediate life of the four, as the effects of the laser would have worn off. There's a good chance that Panthera would have gone missing for a while, and maybe even just roamed that part of Malta for a few hours. Obviously, Barry would have reported that there are four Atrociraptors that were released, meaning that they still have two more to track down somewhere in the central south of Malta. So while I am sure that Panthera would have gotten up and roamed around Malta for a while, it is safe to say that he would have been fine on his own for a while. Whether or not he went and hunted some of the public remains to be questioned, as it's hard to say whether that's a possibility considering how far away they were from the main part of the city. However, we all know that these Atrociraptors are one of the fastest specimens in canon, and may even be the fastest we know to date. So it is safe to assume that Panthera, after being high on adrenaline, could have ran all the way back to civilization and caused havoc. The alternate theory for what Panthera did was witness Ghost fall out of the plane and maybe have ran to the coastline awaiting for his pack leader to swim back to shore and possibly even help him out of the water. But to do that, you kind of have to have a non-aggressive and intelligent dinosaur to do something like that. Something that the Atrociraptors seem like they were slightly lacking. Either way, I'm sure that he would have had an easier immediate life after the events of Dominion. Now finally, we move on to the alpha of the Atrociraptors, Ghost. Ghost was obviously hit by the motorcycle and knocked out of the aircraft, falling into what we assumed was his demise into the sea. However, now that we know that it's been confirmed he was alive after these events, we can now begin to speculate what exactly happened. So, if Ghost was confirmed to be alive after these events, then it is likely he somehow swam to shore. There, he would have possibly met with Panthera or completely on his own. Should he have been on his own, which is probably the most likely outcome, he would have regathered his thoughts and the effects of the laser would have worn off. Again, just like Panthera, Ghost would have either roamed the area for a while or ran back into town. To me, it seems like Ghost would have undoubtedly needed a rest after a very fast, long and far chase, as well as a difficult swim back to shore. So, logically speaking, Ghost would have remained near the vicinity of the runway. This is where he would have either rested or slept. However, I am again so sure that the CIA and French intelligence would have located him and attempted to capture him. 
But there's always the open possibility that a different outcome could have happened here and Ghost may have been recaptured by the dodgy dealers of Malta. To me at least, I believe that there's a really good story to be told here and I really hope that one day we get to see this action on the big screen so we can officially and finally get to see what the aftermath of Malta would have been like after the events of Jurassic World Dominion. And I am sure we will see these four Atrociraptors once more sometime in the future. Anyways guys, there we have it. The likely scenarios and outcomes for all four Atrociraptors in Malta after the events of Jurassic World Dominion. If you have any further and logical ideas, please feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like the video if you happen to enjoy at any given moment. If you want to see more from this franchise whilst you await the next movie or series, then go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more fun and interesting canonical videos from this movie universe. But most importantly, I hope you're all staying safe out there and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.